What's going on, guys? Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets. Welcome back to another Warrior Wednesday where we discuss relevant topics designed to make you a better warrior. Today's topic of discussion is going to be the indomitable warrior spirit and never giving up. How to persevere through any problems in life and accomplish your objective. Before we get started, I want to make you aware that gutterfightingsecrets.com is our website. We've got cool t-shirts, great online training programs available for you, and more being added all the time. Go and check it out if you so desire. Also, um, if you decide to subscribe to this channel, it would be very much appreciated. Let's grow this and make a real warrior community of people, leaders, that will help our world and our troubled and aching society get a little better one warrior at a time let's jump into this guys so the indomitable indomitable warrior spirit perseverance is one thing that i've noticed that separates warriors from the sheep and the level of perseverance separates professional warriors from the non-professional ones and a further level of mental fortitude mental toughness and determination and perseverance is further what separates the elite warriors from the regular units, the regular forces. Most professional warriors that you'll meet have one thing in common. At one point in their careers, usually early on in basic training, they were trained or learned to never give up until they're dead. Obviously, in the military, like I said, this usually starts in basic training and will continue on throughout their career. Some MOSs are more dependent on the indomitable warrior spirit than others. Infantry guys are made to suffer. They do it more often with FTXs and things like that, and just lots and lots of physical training. They learn to push through. They learn to embrace the suck. You know, you, you'll hear that. <laughs> Quite a lot. Whether you're a militia guy with any respectable militia unit or whether you're a career military professional soldier of any type, you'll you'll hear that a lot. Or even just if you're a fucking YouTube nerd, you'll hear that a lot. I mean, this continues. It continues with the special forces units with more vigor, right? I mean, the special forces units are just you know, infantry guys that are way, way more highly trained and, and way more determined in many cases to simplify it professional and amateur fighters learn this uh through hard hard training and literally learning on the mats not to give up when they're in a bad position learning how to reverse a bad position into your favor is one of the most valuable lessons that we learn when it comes to any real martial art where you're actually fighting and sparring Wrestling is one thing that comes to mind. Jiu-jitsu is another thing that comes to mind, although gi jiu-jitsu is not what it used to be, but that's another subject for another time. Martial arts, and I'm saying martial arts and I'm not using the word combatives. I love combatives, don't get me wrong. There's a time and a place, like if you're one of these guys, you have to learn combatives. But um, I'm saying the war arts is something that it's harder than combatives, right? Like when you're wrestling, you're drilling, 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 sparring, 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 drilling, drilling, sparring. It gives you that, it just will instill in you that that warrior spirit. I mean, it makes you tough mentally, physically, you know, combined with cutting weight and all of that, right? Fighting of any of any type, whether you're competing in jujitsu, competing in Muay Thai, competing in whatever, right? Any fighting competition, um, martial art. I'm not calling it a sport because it's more of a martial art. That, again, we're getting into getting into the weeds here on that, but anything where you're actually fighting and working super fucking hard and suffering, this is when you learn that warrior spirit. When you're sacrificing, sacrificing calories, sacrificing through getting injured, that sacrificing sweat and blood and tears i mean it's all in there right any amateur and certainly professional fighters all know this criminals are of a similar breed and you might not think 
of criminals as warriors, but I'm telling you right now, I grew up amongst these, <laughs> some of these type of people. Um, they are. And especially the ones who have been through prison. I mean, that will make you a warrior right there. Not that I'm endorsing that. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't try to think that's cool in any way. It's, it's not. But w when you go in, when you go into those type of places, you'll have to learn quickly to become one or probably won't make it that long. These guys learn to suffer and they learn to get through it and push through it. And they just learn to quietly suffer. And uh, some of you guys might be familiar with the Wes Watson channel. I think he's, uh, I have my own opinions on the guy, but I mean, he does make some good points. One of the things he talks about quite a bit is suffering and learning to suffer stoically, I would say. The Buddhists say that life is about suffering. I'm in Asia at the moment, uh, and I've been slowly learning more about Buddhism, and there's a lot of really great tenets here. You know, One of the things they talk about is learning basically the same thing, kind of that life is suffering, and we must, we must detach from that in, in, in some way. And being detached is another thing that really, you know, I mean, in this fragile society that we live in today, people talk about their emotions and they want to go to therapy and they want to like all of that. It's making them soft. And obviously the result is the society that we have now in the West and you see how that's working out for us. Warriors should be detached. They should be detached from their feelings, good or bad. It's another thing that the Buddhists say. Um, the Book of the Five Rings talks about that. Musashi says to be detached from emotions or to be detached from feelings your, your whole life through. And he doesn't mean to like never be happy or never be in a good mood or like never like feel anger or sadness, but he means specifically in combat and going after your goals, going after what you want. There's no room for emotions in that. A warrior has to be cold and calculated. In any form of combat. I mean, when you you learn in a ring, you know, when you're fighting someone and maybe they, they get a couple of good licks on you and they start kind of <laughs> mocking you a little bit, right? Like that will that's designed to make you angry. And, and as soon as you get angry, you're going to make more mistakes. You know, you're going to throw too hard. You're going to overexpose yourself. This and that, right? We all know that anyone who's actually done any sparring or fighting. Learning how to suffer and not give up no matter what makes you stronger now some of you might be thinking like, well why would i deliberately expose myself to suffer why would i i suffer enough uh, uh. well i'm not saying like necessarily to deliberately expose yourself to suffering you are right you will suffer in this life you will also experience moments and certain times of profound joy and you'll also experience many more times of you're going through it and you're going through the motions right but my point is that if we can learn to get through life and walk through life with our head held high, no matter what's coming at us, almost putting blinders on to what you want, your goal, focus right in front of you all times, you will attain that goal. It's only a matter of time. If you're willing to suffer, if you're willing to do whatever it takes to attain that goal, you will do it. You know, a lot of people study all their life and they read books and stuff about how to make more money, right? How do I make more money? How do I make more money? I've known a lot of very successful financial people. Obviously, what I do right now is I work in finance and all of the guys that I know that make the most money never stop working. They don't have much of a life outside of work because they never stop working. They're working 16, 18 hours a day in many cases. That's what it takes. I mean, if you want to make more money, yes, get yourself educated. It takes getting your foot in the door, all of that, right? But again, this all goes back to, let's just take this for example. I'm a guy, regular Joe, you know, maybe I went to college, maybe I didn't, whatever. I'm going to have to, if I didn't go to college, get an education somehow, fucking suffer, go to night school, go to whatever, right? That alone is going to suck. 
get a degree, get another degree. Then I'm going to have to get my foot in the door, work a shitty, you know, like a, a mail, a mail room job at a, a fortune 500 company or work, you know, start super low in the ranks and like literally spend 20 years working my way up. All of these types of things. It's about fucking suffering, guys. It's about just putting your nose to the grindstone, so to speak, tightening up your boots and keep marching. And again, this is one of the reasons why, you know, guys in the infantry, they they learn this, right? And forced marches and and marching, not even marching, but rucking and, you know, standing out in the rain all night. You know, you get like an hour of sleep, you wake up, you stand watch, you get another hour of sleep. It's fucking cold, like it's fucking hot during the day. Like all of this, it just sucks. I mean, I can tell you from personal experience, like all of my all of my infantry training you know outside like obviously i wasn't in the military per se but i was uh i've done a lot of it through the militia type stuff a lot of it and it sucks and i never look forward to going back and doing more field training exercises one shepherd has taught me this quite well uh and everything else that i've done is that being a warrior is not a fun life it's just what it is but you literally like your feet hurt you're fucking wet like you're you're just miserable but guess what? Suck it up, buttercup. There is a fucking mission to be accomplished here. And uh, when you're doing it in real life, <laughs> I imagine it sucks even more because you're getting fucking shot at. You've got crazy fucking people, whoever they are, or whatever shape or breed of enemy they are, are trying to kill you during all of this. So obviously that makes you extremely mentally tough. Now, how do we expose ourselves if we're not a military guy or we're not a militia sheepdog guy or we're not a martial artist or combatives type guy which i'd be surprised for anyone watching this channel but you know i was watching uh, a youtube channel a financial youtube channel the other day a very successful trader and this gentleman said something that i've been saying forever from again from my personal experience if you want to be more successful lose weight eat more healthy and exercise vigorously. This will expose you to a level of suffering that sucks. And there's a reason why people don't lose weight because they're afraid to suffer. The only way that you're going to lose weight is by being in a strict calorie deficit and exercising vigorously and having the discipline to keep doing that day in and day out and day in and day out. This will give you mental fortitude. If you ever want to expose yourself to Suffering in a way that's very productive, lose weight <laughs> and get in incredible physical shape. I don't care what your injuries are, what your age is, you can do it. All right. 80% of it is diet. So you have no excuse. This will teach you. This will teach you the way, my friend. I guarantee you that. Obviously, we can do other things. We can expose ourselves through things like One Shepherd, infantry training for civilians. We can expose ourselves through combat sports you know i mean again it doesn't matter how old you are or what you know like what's going on within reason um there's 50 60 year old guys i know who are white belts in jujitsu just saying if we can learn to suffer for what we want it's only a matter of time before we attain it and again the main reason why people don't attain their goals is because they give up when it gets too hard. Anybody can accomplish great things in life. It's only the fact that they give up when it gets hard that separates the winners from the losers. And I'm going to be honest with you, that's exactly what it is. It pays to be a winner, and it sucks to be a fucking loser. Don't be a loser. I know you're a winner. Why? How do I know? Because I've never seen your fucking face, and I've never even met you because you're watching this channel. And you're watching something called Warrior Wednesday, where we discuss warrior philosophy. If you're interested in this, you're a warrior, and you're a winner. Don't even doubt it for a second. Don't fucking doubt yourself, guys. Don't do it, because that's, again, a freaking loser mentality. Losers will doubt themselves. Losers will talk badly about themselves to themselves and others. Never do that. Never self belittle yourself. A warrior will never belittle himself. And you know what? A warrior never belittles others either because he knows life is about suffering and everybody is fighting a battle. Have respect. 
that's another big thing that we learn in this warrior lifestyle is you have respect because you never know who can kick your ass. I've seen really nerdy or really fat even people occasionally that I would never think are, are competent fighters. And guess what? They can kick my ass really good, right? Like anybody at any time, honestly. And that's another thing you learn. Be humble, have respect. You know, when you meet a fighter, like a real fighter, and you shake their hand, it's never a death grip. It's always a super loose grip. And I learned this like years ago when I first started um, training in combat sports. I noticed this. And uh, I think I even asked my jiu-jitsu professor, John Elwig, back in the day about this. I'm almost sure this is the answer he gave me. He goes, you know, well, we make our living with our hands. And the guy is a former professional MMA fighter. And uh, we have nothing to prove. So when we shake your hand, it's going to be a light handshake. And we expect the same. Now, that doesn't go for every breed of warrior, but specifically professional fighters. And throughout my fighting career, my martial arts career, I've, I've noticed this over and over and over again. When you shake a professional fighter's hand, it's always a loose grip. There are times when, you know, it's time to like Arnold Schwarzenegger it and you give each other a nice firm handshake and you say, you son of a bitch. But um, for the most part, it's a loose handshake. It's because they're humble and they have nothing to prove, but they're respectful as well. That, hey, we all make our living with our hands. Let's not, <laughs> let's not, no, no need to death grip over here. When we learn to hang on, when the going gets tough, we learn the indomitable warrior spirit. You would accomplish anything that you want. And I'm sure that you can think of times in your life when you've had a breakthrough or when you've achieved a major goal that you were working towards. And I think you can picture now how good it felt when you got what you were working for all that time. But I'm also very sure and very confident that whatever that was didn't come easy or at least didn't come right away. Maybe you wanted to give up at certain times, but you kept fighting and thusly were able to take the victory. I'm going to wrap this up with a quote, <laughs> another Schwarzenegger quote. Maybe you've seen this movie. Maybe not. If you haven't, I highly recommend that you see it. Conan the Barbarian. Crush your enemies. See them driven before you and have the lamentation of their women. Strength and honor, guys. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. Don't forget to check out GutterFightingSecrets.com. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. It definitely helps us out. Give us thumbs, okay? Hopefully thumbs up. <laughs> and comment, because whenever you do that stuff, it pushes us up in the algorithm. And I really want to reach more and more and more warriors out there and more young men and women, but specifically young men, because I'm like, again, 99% male dominated on this channel or male occupied. Most of you guys are fucking dudes. It's a sausage party here at Gutter Fighting Secrets for the most part. But that's because men are warriors. I want to reach more young men and I want to make a small difference in this world by helping men, young men and older guys as well, and some women, reach their goals and attain this level of indomitable warrior spirit that I know for me personally has given me so much peace, so much understanding, and so much clarity in life. Until next time, guys, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense, and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, every Saturday, we push out hand-to-hand -hand combative training video. And every Wednesday, we're back with Warrior Wednesday. Cheers, Mother Flowers.